guys, it is Michelle, and as promised, like for my last video that we did live, we are going through my collection of handbags. I'm sitting in the corner where I keep all my bags here in the closet next to where I normally film. So, so um, I got the majority of them down here next to me, but there is a ton more in here. Um, some of you, you saw in the last video I did, I'll probably start with some of those in case some of you missed my last live feed. This is going to be a while. I got the phone plugged in so that we can um, take advantage of this. And I have this all kind of like, it's organized and not organized. And I have a bunch of them over here from, because some of these sit down here in uh, totes. I have some that sit up on top of a shelf in boxes. So there is a ton of handbags. As you guys know, I have a huge handbag issue. I love them. So I'm just going to get started with my collection. And um, some of these will end up being put on eBay at some point. I also poured me a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon to sip with you guys. So if you guys want to have a glass of wine or a beer or whatever with me, go get your thing. Um, get yourself some popcorn or whatever. It's going to be a long video. So we're going to take a little sip. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And we will get started. So, um, I'm going to start with the ones that you might have seen from my last video or not. This is going to be a mix of purses and some of them are just like little bags. So the first one is this Betsy Johnson Hedgehog. Absolutely adorable. The ones that I did in my one video, I'm just going to show you very quickly. We're going to go through these very fast and then do some more focus on the ones you haven't seen. So my little hedgehog makeup bag, I bring this with me on vacations all the time. Next. This isn't a bag. This is a cute little hat. Hello. I got too much hair to wear hats. I used to love this thing back in the day. I'm not really a hat girl though, but okay, moving on. Okay, so the next one is a Michael Kors. This is one of the earlier Michael Kors is before he became like super popular. It's this gorgeous clutch, which I really need to bring out more often. What I love most about it is that it's got these beautiful little credit card holders. Unfortunately, my card got compromised recently, unfortunately. How cute is this bag? Absolutely amazing. This may come with me to my um, Christmas party, guys. We will see. I live for this purse and the grommeting. It's just so beautiful. Um, next is... I want to do this really quick so we can go to the more fun purses. This is a Kenneth Cole. This one has like a little charging duck in it. I have one with a charging duck, but it didn't work, so... I haven't used this one yet. We'll see how it goes. My Lady Gaga. Born this way. This might be one of the ones on the chopping block, guys. Um, haven't decided yet. I'm never going to use it. So this is more than likely going to end up on eBay. I'm going to put that in the eBay pile, actually. Next is this cute See You Later bag. This came from Bath & Body Works. I haven't used it yet. It still has the tag. Um, I have to find a place where I can use it because it would be perfect for like carrying a purse. This is one of my designer bags. This is a tiny, itty bitty, I'm not even sure if this is a child's bag or not. Um, it's a tiny little Prada bag and I absolutely love it. I use this little clutch when I go out for special occasions. This is a Louis, I think this is actually like a makeup bag. Don't quote me, I use it as a clutch as well. I love the classic Louis design. It's my favorite, I really don't like it starts with a D, I forget the name of it. That's becoming popular recently. Hello, how are you? How you doing? Uh, but this is my absolute favorite of the Louis Vuitton just because it's so classic and iconic. So um, my Louis are all this. But I mean, it could change. I may change my mind eventually. This is old, guys. Some of these bags, I'm not gonna lie to you, are super old, super vintage, but you guys know I love vintage stuff as well. So I think it's part of my charm. Anyway, this is a baby fat bag, very early 2000s, as you can tell. I love the grommet. I've always loved grommeting. Even the little grommets have little baby fat kitties on them. And there's like hardly any room in here for, truly for anything. But I've never gotten rid of this bag just because I love it. It's so dated though. But um, on the right evening, I'll pull this bag out. Not very often. She's an absolutely beautiful condition 
um, cause I have baby, my baby fat clutch. No pun intended. Um, I know I showed you guys this last time. I love this. I'm going to bring this actually on my next cruise because I'm just going to put my cards in here and go all over the ship and not to worry about carrying anything. Um, but it's truly designed to hold sunglasses, as you can see. How awesome is that? A foldable sunglass case. My mother actually bought the same one that day. It was like five bucks. And Telegram. What, what's not to love here? Okay, so I'm going to pull out the bags to show you. And then the ones that uh, belong in here back in. Alright, let's put that in there. Such a mess, guys, with purses. Oh, your girl has a problem. She truly does. You think my two collections bad? You haven't seen anything till you've seen my purse collection. Okay, so I haven't used this yet. I have its. Um, I'll, maybe I'll hold this one till I show you its brother. Um, so this I love these kinds of bags. These things aren't really a thing anymore. I used this bag, I believe, for my my Christmas party. Yes, I did. Um, this is so. Oh my gosh, I wish you could feel this. It feels so beautiful. I love little beaded bags because this is something. I know the old timers, like, this was what they had for their evening bags. Um, but this isn't something you really see anymore. I'm a little confused by the little polka dots here, why they didn't do, like, a floral, like the top seems to be. But I think it's absolutely adorable. This has almost gone to the donation pile so many times, but because you don't see stuff like this anymore, I've hung on to it. Um, this is actually my prom bag. I told you guys some of these are ancient. Um, I still love it. It's not um, necessarily the most economic bag. It's got this string. It looks like a seashell. You guys know my love for the ocean. That was the main reason why I bought this. It's missing some stones now. I can fix it, but you really can't tell them far away. I love it. And again, this is something that you don't see every day. And that's the other reason why I keep it. I mean, it's so adorable. And I would still use it, to be truthful. With the right outfit and the right event, I would totally wear this again. This is my first um, wristlet. This is a coach, as you can see. I wanted a plain black wristlet because I figure every girl... This is something that every girl should have a little black wristlet so that when you're going out, you don't have to worry about anything. I got this at one of those coach outlet stores for really cheap. It's super cute. This one I don't use very often, um, but it's absolutely adorable, and I absolutely love it. Oh, did I forget one? I did forget one. Holy cow. I think it's on my table. I'll be right back, guys. So sit tight. Get yourself a drink. We're going to be here for a while. I can't believe I forgot one. All right. I knew that was going to happen anyway. All right, guys, so I didn't give you enough time for a drink, but I am back. Hoo-hoo. Sorry, guys. Let's do this. Sorry, guys. Okay. So this is the one I wanted to show you. This is actually what I use for the gym when I go to the gym. This is a Dooney and Baruch. Okay, my gym card is actually in here. But I, I use this. My keys and my phone are always in this, and then I go to the gym with this, so I don't bring my purse with me. I got this at TJ Maxx for super cheap. I love Dooney. It's uh, like an iris coming up like white on here, but I do really like this bag. So I use this one for the gym all the time. I just bring it with me because I don't want to have to worry about putting something in a locker. Just easier to bring this. Isn't it adorable? Love it. Okay. Next. And I know I, saw, I showed you guys this one in my last video. Um, again, just a little tiny beaded bag, but I love it. And this is probably a little known fact. Uh, my grandmother died when I was very young. However, one of the few things, because when my grandparents passed away, they passed away like a very long time. I think like 20 years apart, honestly. Um, I, they, they didn't have much. So the little things that I have from them, I can put in a shoebox. Um, but it's the memories that matter, you know? One of the things that I had, she um, was a seamstress. And... She had these Aurora Borealis, this, these, this exact color bead that you see here. And I still have them in a little jar. Um, I won't part with them. I mean, they're, they're cheap plastic beads, and I understand that. There's no value to them at all. But it's one of the few things that were hers that I have. So 
I tend to be drawn to this Aurora Borealis finished bead, um, particularly where there's a dark undertone underneath it, because that's exactly what I have from her. So um, you'll see, if you see something like that, it's probably because it reminds me of her. And um, so that's why you'll see a lot of these black Aurora Borealis, especially even in jewelry that I make, I have a lot of that stuff. Um, but it, cause it reminds me of her. Next is this bag. My mom bought me this for my birthday years ago. It is a Playboy bag. This comes with me on vacation a lot as well. You got the gold hologram bunny. There's some hearts going on here. This bag holds a lot. It's starting to show some wear, um, but she's still good. She's not going anywhere yet. I really love this bag. I love Playboy in general. Um, it just... I like the Playboy bunny head. You guys have seen the poster that I normally film in front of and stuff like that. Once I get this room in order because I'm organizing things right now, you'll be able to see some more of my Playboy collection. But I love the Playboy bunny head. It's one of my absolute favorites. So we'll put that to the side. I'll go through this stuff first. Ugh, I don't even know where to go. We're going to start here. Anyway, like I told you, I have a little tiny bag here that has a mate. My mother gave me this for my birthday. Actually, this... Not this past birthday, the birthday before. Um, so I have this adorable little polka dot Betsy cosmetic bag. I have a thing for cosmetic bags as well. It's a problem that your girl has a thing for bags. And Betsy Johnson, with Betsy, I either love her stuff or hate it. It's either really cute or extremely gaudy. I have not yet, but I will probably list them. I do have a box of worn out shoes that will be going on eBay. So once I collect all my purses, my handbags and my shoes will be going on eBay. So, um, yeah, they will be up, I want to say, within um, the next month. Because with Halloween and all this stuff, I want to do some Halloween outfits. I was going to do one today. I might still film one today. We will see. Um, but, yeah, I want to do that. So this, uh, you can see it's still brand new. I still have the plastic over here. She's really cute. So it's Mate is this Weekender bag. How adorable is this bag? Um, a lot of my bags I actually stuff with like paper so that it holds their shape. As you can see. And this one is no um, exception. But she matches this cute little baggie. I think I put this inside there. I think that'd be smart so that when I go to use this bag, I have it. Um, my friends and I, this, what was it, April? When did I go to New York City? I don't remember exactly when I went, but we went and did a trip to New York City. Um, we took in some shows and some museums. It was fun. I will give you the eBay name at the end, guys, I promise. Um, so you can take a look. I definitely want to start putting this stuff on here. Ah, oh, this thing's not going to fit. We'll put that back in there. But yeah, that is my bag. And I've only put one bag in the eBay pile. Oh, girl, you're in trouble. Okay. Oh, man, girl, <laughs> there's a lot here. We're going to start here. And... No, we're going to start right here. Okay. So you guys have seen her a million times in videos as well. Um, this is my Louie. I think this is the Speedy 30. There is, do I have stuff in here to keep her shape? I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, yeah, I do. I need a little bit more in there, though. What else is in there? Sunglass case and a penny. That's great. Um, I love this bag. This has been the bag I've been wanting for years, and I've had her for about two now. Um, I'm actually looking for a wallet next. I don't know. After the holidays, I might give myself a treat. We will see. But I love this bag so much. She's absolutely stunning. Uh, the box that she came in is actually up in the closet. I was thinking about storing her in it, but realistically, she she doesn't get put in that bag, um, in that box. But I love her anyway. Oh, and this was another little one I showed you earlier, a little beaded. It's not really a makeup bag. I don't know. What do you think? It's cute, though. Okay. Oof, I'm sitting on my legs, and they're falling asleep. Oop. We're in a little weird corner if you can't tell. Okay, guys. So, this bag was also a birthday gift. Hello! Oh, you're from France. That is so awesome. I love the Eiffel Tower. I actually want to do a room in Paris theme. It's definitely on my travel to go list. I definitely would love to visit France one day and experience it. 
You have a great day too, Kivon. Thank you for stopping. Okay, I really should have put something for me to sit on in here. It's okay. This was also a um, birthday gift. Joey bought me this one. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm sure it's beautiful. I've heard stories from people who have went and visited, and I am so jealous. I'm not going to lie. One day I will visit Paris. I, how can I get this thing lower? I should just sit up higher. Because I have you guys, the way I have this set up, I didn't really think this through. We'll make it work, though, guys. Yeah, I know I look so small. I'm sitting literally, in, like, in the nook of my closet. There's more bags. Oh, my God. There are more bags. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. Okay. So this bag <laughs> um, I got as a birthday gift a few years ago. This is another Dooney and Baruch. Joey picked this one out. I love um, top handle bags. They're one of my absolute favorites. You're going to see a lot of top handles here. Um, and I think where that came from is, do you guys remember Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, the show? It might be considered a little corny. But her doctor bag, I loved it as a child. Hi, how are you? And I wanted her doctor bag so bad from that show when I was a kid. So when I saw purses that kind of mimicked that look, I kind of got obsessed with it. So nine times out of ten, you will see me with a top handle bag. I love them. I do have some crossbodies. But nine times out of ten, it's a top handle. And this one is gorgeous. It's very unique. This one has come in a few different colors. I've seen this in a few different patterns. But I love the black and white monochromatic. Um, it's beautiful. The inside is red. And it's just a really, really nice bag. I absolutely love this bag. I might switch into the, I'm going to be switching into um, a new bag soon. When I get to it, because my the bag I'm currently using, it's hiding underneath a pile of purses right now. Um, I'll show you that, but I'm probably going to switch out of it, to be honest with you. Isn't she beautiful? She's absolutely gorgeous. This one is one of my coaches. I think you've seen her before. Um, I love this raspberry color. Thank you. Um, it's more of a tote style. I love this Baroque pattern, but I know they've kind of gotten away from it and are doing more leathers. But I really love this, the, the fabric with the C's on it. To me, it's very iconic. I know that it's kind of going away, but I still love it. Again, it's another purse. I always stuff my purses to keep their shape. But what I liked most about this bag was the raspberry around it. It even matches my top. My mother actually bought me this. Um, actually, I think she bought it for herself, but thought I would like it better. My, my mom's pretty awesome. Um, so it's super cute, and I think this goes with a lot. It's just a regular, really good everyday bag. Maybe I'll switch into this one. I don't know. Um, I like Coach. Coach bags are made really well, and they hold up very nicely. And I love that bag. Um, this one was a gift recently for my birthday. Um, it, she's my friend, but she's technically my best friends. Do you really? Great minds think alike. Um, my best friend's sister, but we're also friends, gave me this purse. This is a Betsy Johnson. How cute. I love the bow. She knows I love grommeting. I love it a little bit of an edge. This is kind of has, um, like pin -up -y vibes. When is my birthday? It is June 20th. I'm a June baby. I'm a Gemini. That's why I like my fashion. I think it's all over the place because I'm ruled by two different poles. I'm ruled by the twins. Um, but I love this. Part. Again, another top handle bag. Very pin up -y. You got the red. Now, Betsy Johns did a lot with this kind of style um, this past year. Um, but inside you have a big zippered compartment. And look at this. Like, this... It has a crossover, but it's really cute, isn't it? And two different sides. I haven't used her yet, to be truthful. Um, again, with the right outfit. I love it. How adorable. Really cute. Maybe with my Jessica Rabbit costume. I was invited to a Halloween party. We shall see. Because that Halloween party, I'm not going to do Beetlejuice. I'm going to do something different. Oh, I got a bag here. This was my first. First, first, first ever coach. I kept the box. I probably shouldn't keep the box because these boxes take so much space. But um, Joey bought this for me as a birthday gift. So this is the bag. It's a, I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like a tote 
um, black, very basic, but very cute. It needs to be cleaned. I'm noticing a little discoloration here on top, um, but it's beautiful. And he also got me this little, it's by Coach as well, this little chocolate dipped strawberry. Um, I'm not a desserts fan typically, but chocolate dipped strawberries are one of my absolute favorites. They're one of my weaknesses. Love them. How cute. And I think a little pop of red against it. So cute. Um, so yeah, this bag, it, it means a lot because at the time, we didn't even have the money. I, I, he was crazy for buying this bag. I know at the time, I think the bag ran for $300 and we're close to it. I could be wrong on my pricing. And the little keychain was like an astronomical 50, like they were really expensive, but um, I love it. And it's one of my favorites. Um, I'll show you this one. Now this I wore to my, um, this was my junior prom. I always have a purse on me. Yes, that's a very good question. Um, yeah, always have a purse on me. I've been carrying a purse literally since I was a little girl. My first handbag I got, I was a year old. I didn't really start seriously carrying a purse regularly until I was probably 11 or 12. So I've been carrying a purse since I was about that young. Maybe even 10. I was very young when I started carrying my own handbag. Not that I had anything significant in there, but I'm, I'm always with my purse. Like It's a part of who I am. Um, this was the one I had for my junior prom. It's again that Aurora Borealis that I spoke about earlier that I'm obsessed with. And it's super cute. It's kind of dated too. I don't think that this kind of metal is really a thing anymore. Um, it's got this little closure. It's nothing super special. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if I'll ever, when I'll use this bag again. Again, I guess it, it depends on the outfit, but I simply love it. I won't part with it because I just think it's super cool. I want to get like shelving. I want to, at some point what I'm going to do is do shelves for shoes. Like kind of like have the, there's a few celebrities that have their shoes. Thank you. Um, on display. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my handbags. But my, my girls, um, need a place to shine. This bag I've had for about two years and I really love it. Can you see a pattern here? I really love that raspberry from coach. Another top handle bag, but it does have a crossbody, which I've used numerous times. It may be small, but I'll tell you, I can fit a ton of stuff in this little bag. I got it on sale. I think this was at one of the coach um, outlets, but this bag is made really well. She looks brand new and I've beaten this bag to death. It comes in a range of colors as well, but I love the raspberry that they do. Um, it's just a great, great bag. And I love the leather. Oh, thank you so much. You're too kind. I love that. I love my top handles. And this little guy is great. I wore this a lot um, last fall. Oh my goodness, guys. There's a lot of totes here too. So it's going to be a mix of things. I do apologize. This bag I used actually a lot. Hold on, let me fix it. This was my summer tote when I went swimming. I put my um, beach towel in here. My sunblock would go in here. Um, everything. I've actually worn it out a little bit. Um, this was actually from Bath and Body Works, but I'll show you where I've worn it. Like right here. You can kind of tell the gold has rubbed off. But this was one of those totes that they would give it. Oh, I think you spend 25 and then you get this for 25 and it's like full of all kinds of goodies. I haven't seen them do that in a while, but we're coming to that season where they might be doing it again. It's got this cute little glittery makeup bag. I actually would put my jewelry in here. Like, so if we're going swimming, I'll take my necklace, my earrings, my rings off, and I'll put it in there. Oh, thank you. I love this color. This is like that raspberry color. I love. Actually, my bag is, the inside of my bag is literally the same color as my top. Um, but yes, I would use this for um, swimming. My swimsuit, if I wasn't wearing it, would go in here. Um, next pair of flip flops. I always, I typically wear my green Playboy flip flops when I'm around a pool because they're so worn out. Um, they're really not good for anything else. And I don't really wear flip flops like out. They're normally a house shoe or by the pool. But this bag is great. It has a zipper on it. And it's just super cute. And it's really thick like PVC. So this is a really good bag to beat up. And I have. It's been an awesome bag and I absolutely love it. Thank you. So next, you guys know my love for Juicy Couture. Oh, thank you so much, Jamie. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, this bag is um, 
No, she's not my first. She's my second. You remember the Daydreamers, guys. Who? Oh, what girl did not live for the Juicy Couture Daydreamer? Mm -mm. Everybody did. But they're heavy. Like, if you have never had one, even empty, these bags weigh like 20 pounds. You're going to have arms like Popeye. So my mother bought me this um, for Christmas. This bag came in a variety of colors. It came in red and black as well. Honestly, I would have loved it in red or black, but the brown is very unique, and I still love this bag very much so. Um, i got to pull her out because I haven't pulled this one out in a while. So this is a Juicy Couture Daydreamer. Everybody knows the iconic Daydreamer of Juicy Couture. It's got this cute little um, bow going on. Here's the classic J on the back. I, I have used this bag a lot. I still have the Juicy Couture, like, paper inside it. But I like to do that for my bags. Every Juicy Couture has the little juicy mirror. What's this? Oh, here's, like, the little design on the outside. Those big dogs over there. The little Scotties. I live for Juicy. I don't think it's really a thing anymore. Um... But I'm not necessarily one. As I like following fashion, and no. Oh, that's awesome. Really? I've never met anybody that actually did that for a living. That's so cool. I actually have training this week as well um, for my new position that I'll be receiving. Um, I, haven't, I don't have a date slated for one. Oh, sure. Hi, Revere. How are you? Um, I haven't had a, uh, my, my, my date for my new position isn't official yet. Um, it might be postponed because of, you know, stuff happening, but, um, soon, hopefully soon. And I'm using a bag to kind of give myself a little bit more, um, stability. Okay, guys. So this is one of the bags that might end very soon. I love it, but I'll be honest with you, I just don't grab it anymore. This is a Betsy Johnson. Shine bright like a diamond. Yes, please. Um, I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love, love, love this purse. I really should get something to sit on. Hmm. I'm having issues here. Because remember what I sit on is what you guys are sitting on. What can I use? What can I use? I'm trying to think what I have around here. Mm -hmm. Do I have a stool? I might have a stool. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, because my legs are starting to cramp. We're going to be here for a while. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that'll work. Oh, that thing is heavy, but it'll work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I found my toolbox, and that's what we're going to use to sit on so that my legs don't cramp. There we go. Yes. That's so much better. You have no idea. Oh, my legs are trying to fall asleep on me. But anyway, as you look like I'm a little bit more in frame now, and my door is going to continue to make noises hitting up against that. But anyway, so this is one of the bags that... Um, I'm... oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. Stupid door. Anyway, so this is going to be one of those ones, like I said, I've loved it to pieces. It has a little bit of fraying, but not much. What brand is my top? I really don't know what brand this one is. Because my mom has a habit of taking out the, um, tags. But, um... I'm not sure. Knowing her, it's either Cable and Gage or um, the other one is International Concepts or INC or Inc. It's from Macy's. Those are her two favorite brands. So it's one of those two more than likely. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. I've used it a lot. Again, another top handle. I need to fix it before I do um, list it. The inside has all kinds of cute little lippies. Because it has this little um, bow that attaches to this little ring here. Um, I do have a bra on underneath the top. 
but it does have this weird cross section. It actually sits really nicely. It looks really, really cute. I love it though. But yeah, so I'm going to have to put that on here to make it look the way it's supposed to. It's really cute, but this one is definitely going to go into the eBay um, pile. Like, I was contemplating it for so long, but it's like, realistically, I'm not going to use her anymore. So, she um, she needs to go. But she's absolutely beautiful. Um, my bags are pretty well kept. For the most part, I try to keep them as prestigious as I can. There's a little wear, but she is looking... Um, she does look bad. You can see there's a little tiny bit of wear. Some threading, but... I'm going in the pile, my beautiful. I'm sorry. This bag actually is very special to me. This is my first ever Michael Kors item. Um, um, yeah, my first ever Michael Kors. No, second. My first was a pair of shoes, actually, which you've seen. My little sexy heels. This is my first, uh, my second Michael Kors item. My first Michael Kors purse. Um, it's this leopard print. And I don't know why it spoke to me because I'm normally not one for leopard print. What I like about this bag, though, is that, that you, by pulling out the sides, so it makes it, you know, less formal, or you can tuck them in. Now, this bag is extremely popular. I've seen this style bag everywhere, different colors and stuff like that, um, but I really do like it. Then you got these little, like, side things that you can, like, mess with. If you wanted to... Put that in there. I mean, you can play with it all you want. I normally keep them to the sides so that I can just turn it into a tote. But yeah, this bag really spoke to me, and I love it. It's a nice canvas material. Um, I love it. And these are leather. It's a very well-made bag, and I've had this for a very, very long time, and she's treated me super well. This next one I have yet to use. Joey bought me a perfume for Christmas and this came with it. It's a Juicy Couture um, perfume bag. It was a free gift when you bought the perfume. It says live famously. How cute. cute. Inside it's got stars. I live for Juicy Couture. I haven't used this one yet. Next I bought this. Um, I love those mermaid themed things like when you just like put your, your hands across it look look at this i found this at home goods for 20 bucks and it turns it goes black it's got the mermaid color and then it goes black i couldn't help myself with this thing um i've used it once or twice but not a lot because i'm not in school anymore obviously i put this keychain on it from michael's it's a little turtle and it's got like this little um gems in it. I have, I'll show you the one bag I, I brought with me when we went to Cape Cod recently. It is very much. This is a very, what you would call an extra bag. Um, but I just like playing with it. I've never actually used it. Um, no, I've used it twice around town. Uh, like when I go for walks, I'll bring it with me. It's very in your face. So for now I'm keeping it, but at some point she will probably end up being in the eBay pile. Next, do you guys remember when Victoria's Secret actually had cool stuff? I miss, like, their clothing line. I used to love their clothing. I'm actually um, probably selling two sweater dresses from them that I have. They're old um, just because they're just kind of wearing out, and I really can't wear them to work anymore just because they are worn to the point where it's not office appropriate anymore. So it's sad that they don't have more because I'd definitely replace them. But back in the day... They used to have, um, oh, I forgot, I have that. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, they used to have, like, the awesome Black Friday sales, and you get a bag if you spent a certain amount of money that was full of stuff. Well, the last one that I got, I'm pretty sure it was this one. I have two of them, so I'm not sure which one it was. But literally, it was, like, a tiny little lotion. It's like, oh, you get a beauty kit in there. One lotion is counts as a beauty kit. Not that that was the reason. I did get some really nice things that I still have. But I'll never do that Black Friday sale because I feel like they've gotten super cheap. Anyway, I do love this tote. Um, it's zippered, which I like. I like it when there's a zipper on them. And it says Victoria's Secret and it's super blingy. One of the things I absolutely love. Um, you can't have too many totes. Well, I guess you can, but I love them. Next, my mother got me this one. Um, she had it made for me. It's got my name on it. It's gold and white. 
I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I do actually love lingerie pieces too. Um, I like the ones with the um, hosiery attached to them, typically, or with the like, garter belts. I like those kind of older fashion things. Um, but yes, I do love fancy things like that as well. Um, okay, my mother got me this. It's gold with my name on it. I haven't used it yet. I've been saving it. Probably will use it next year. Maybe I'll bring it with me on my next cruise adventure. That would be fun. Um, but I'm definitely probably going to bring my camera with me next time, you guys. Um, so I can do some filming. I didn't think to do that last time because there's a lot of bad things happening. Um, this one is also a Bath and Body Works. I, they didn't do one this summer, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is from Bath and Body Works. This is a really nice... Yes, I love the old and white too. This is a really nice canvas. And the canvas has a little bit of a shimmer to it. You probably can't see it. And it's got this gold glittery palm tree. And I love how they typically have zippers. I know Bath and Body Works is owned by Victoria's Secret. So I love that they put zippers on their bags for the most part. It's such an awesome thing to have. Um, especially for vacation. So I used the gold one this year. Um, I'll probably continue to use it throughout the winter time. I will bring that with me to work to like keep my lunch in and other things I'm bringing with me to work that won't fit in my purse. Um, but this will probably be next year's bag. Or the one with my name on it. I haven't decided. I love totes as much as I love any top handle bag. So we got that one. This one I bought right before the summer and I didn't get a chance to use it. I got this thing. It rang up like I want to say a dollar. It says $7.50 but it was definitely cheaper than that. But I couldn't help myself. Again, this is a canvas bag, and this is what it looks like. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this purse. Um, it's got this cute little ice cream keychain on it. I, I paid something ridiculous for it, but this is color changing, and it's really pretty when it color changes. It has this blue wave effect on it, and there's little, from what I remember, I really can't see them here, um, but there were like little fish in the background as well. I love mermaids. As you guys know, I loved mermaids before they were cool. But uh, I couldn't help myself. It was so cheap. I got this at Kohl's. And she's so cute. I love that bag. The only thing is that it's just a tote. There's no zip or anything to it. Wow, we're coming to the bottom of this pile. And then we'll go into the closet. So, thumbs this up if you've made it this far, guys. Okay, so this is the bag I had before the one I'm into now. Because um, it was still summery. You do too? Okay. So this is another coach. Um, this was my second coach bag. It's similar to the black one. I think they're identical, just color changed. Um, I also still have my little mermaid from Bath and Body Works on here. She's got to come off because this bag is going to be put back away. Probably right after we're done filming, to be honest with you. But I love the color. That beautiful raspberry with the C's. It's just such a cute statement piece. I love it. She's one of my favorites, but she's going to be put away. Um, I still have like my vitamins and stuff in this one. And my hair scrunchie, because my hair is so thick, I still use these. You know how hard these are to find? It's ridiculous. What's that? I have a Juicy Couture rollerball in here. I have zinc pills, because they're good when you're trying to prevent a cold. Um, I really need to take that out of there. But yeah, so I will clean that out and put her away. Next is this. Okay, so I have this thing. It's stuffed with all kinds of silly things. This is a black um, cape for Halloween. This is a, I guess you would call this a kimono. It's not authentic. I got this at Forever 21. But it's cute. I haven't worn it in a minute. My friend looks amazing in these. Um, I don't pull them off so well. But with the right outfit, maybe it will. Maybe like a cute black dress. Ooh. Yes, I like that idea. Okay, this bag's got some cool stuff in it. Um, I'm really excited to show you these. So this actually was a gift from my mom for Christmas. This isn't a bag. But I have the matching purse, which you'll see later, and the matching jacket. It was by Serena Williams. This was from um, Wilson's Leather. This is like a little hat. Oh my goodness, my hair is like a mess. It actually does look kind of cute when you get it on. It's not working with this outfit though. But 
Trust me, with the whole outfit, it looked absolutely adorable. But it's a little leather hat. Haven't worn it in a very long time. I don't really think these are a thing anymore. But I digress. What else is in here? There's something fuzzy in here. Okay, this is like... This is the, like a fur trim to a jacket. It's not actual fur, um, but it's a trim for a jacket. This is a really super pretty bag. Love it. I love this. Like It matches the pair of shoes that I have. Like it's gold and champagne-y. Perfect to bring to a wedding. Perfect for a Christmas party. I love this bag. My mother gave me this for Christmas or my birthday. She knows I love purses. There's a couple more things in here. Um, this I got when the gamer crate or the nerd blocks were out. And I'm so sad that they went under. But this is a tote bag. And it's the Legend of Zelda. It looks like the old-fashioned Nintendo cartridge or the NES cartridge. Um, I was playing my Super Nintendo the other day. And I went with my best friend to her house. And we played her Atari, which was awesome. I have an Atari. I need to get the wire hookup. So... I will have to try to um, get those. When you pull it out, the bag actually transforms like that. So there's your tote. You have the old fashioned Legend of Zelda. And what's so awesome about this is that you just fold it back up and you put it back in and it looks like a little cartridge. And you can put this in your purse and leave it in your car. I really need to leave this thing in my car so I can actually use it. It's so, so cute. One of my favorite things, that was my favorite um, as far as monthly subscription boxes. I've been looking for a gamer block or something similar since and I haven't found it. Love this. Next is this bag. This is also a Victoria's Secrets bag. I think you got this when you made a purchase of perfume. I had um, bought some perfumes and this came with it. I don't even know what this thing looks like. I, just, I can't get this thing out. I don't know if it's attached or not. We'll find out. And we're going to find out together. It is attached. Oh, it's got a um, shoulder strap too. I've never, I don't think I've actually looked at this. Holy cow. It's pretty um significantly large i'm gonna have to um remember to bring this with me next time because when you go on the ship i went on when i went to bermuda um you need to have a spare bag for like the stuff you're sleeping in because you have to put your bags out so they can bring them the next morning um what you call it so they can do what they got i don't know if they go through customs or whatnot but they had to take your stuff the night before and whatever you're sleeping with, whatever items you have on you, you need to have an empty bag. So I had, I'll show you the bag in a minute, um, but this would work really well as well. So this might be something, actually. You know, I got the other bag, you know, this is going to be an eBay item actually, guys. So if you're interested in it, it's going to be on my eBay later. So next, I love this bag too. This was also a Victoria's Secrets Black Friday bag. It's covered in sequins. Look how cute it is. Both sides have this like extra pocket. Um, and it's got a really nice liner in the bottom. It's like kind of heavy. It does not have any um, zippers, but it's fine. But look at how darn adorable this is. I love this so much. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just going to plop these things that were in it back in. This guy I'm going to probably keep out. Isn't that adorable, guys? It looks just like, how many of you remember these? I actually still have this cartridge. Um, I have a lot of vintage systems, for those of you that don't know. Um, I collect vintage games. I have the Atari, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo. There's very few of the older systems I don't have. I do have the new systems as well. But my, my love is the old systems. So we'll put that there. So next, um, I bought this recently. I'm in love Pay ten dollars for it. This is a Juicy Couture. I guess it's a makeup bag. What I'm gonna call it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it or give it to my mom because my mother would love this. I don't know. I contemplate every time I look at it. 
If I don't use it before Christmas, my mom's gonna get it. Let's find another one. But I love it. You guys know I love my Juicy Couture. Next is the bag I'm currently using, guys. This is my Michael Kors. This was a birthday gift as well. I had this little um, pack back holder. I got cucumber mint in it from Bath and Body Works, which is really delicious. Um, he lights up. You might not be able to see it with my lighting. Can you tell? He's lighting up. Pretty minute. Here, cutie is. My brother actually really likes squirrels. I normally would think for foxes, but I really like the squirrel. So he's there. Are you ready for the rest of this mess? I don't know. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Well, let's get started. Okay. Oh, here's another hat. You guys are gonna laugh. Look at this thing. I don't have the heart to part with it. I don't think I've ever worn it. Maybe twice. This was a thing like back in the early 2000s. I still kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. But it's very dated, is it not? Ugh, <laughs> oh, my hair is like a wreck. Let's take your hair out. I got to do something with this too. There's no more style anymore. Just long. thousands what do you think I still kind of like it kind of miss those days I mean life wasn't good for me back then not gonna lie it's just more fun I guess okay. all right so this bag is my first Dooney this is the bag I'm considering switching into it's a red Dooney uh, it just spoke to me. It's kind of, I guess, an old lady bag to some people. Very nice brocat. It's got leather. It doesn't have any, um, it does have a zipper. It's got a zipper in the center and then two sides and this. But this to me screams full. And I think it looks so cute with my suit jackets and stuff for work. And it's made really, it's, it's a really well made bag. Um, it's one of my favorite companies because of how well made the purses are. I love the red. I do. For most girls, they go for the little black dress as their safety color. Mine is the little red dress because I don't want to be lost in a sea of black dresses. But and I know some people are afraid of the red dress. But if you, girl, you just got to be confident. Pretend you're in that little black dress. It makes you feel better. Be that girl in the red dress. Unless it's a wedding, then don't do that. You know, nobody wants to be that girl. But yeah. You're going out to a Christmas party or a dinner gathering, wear that red dress. You go, girl. You do it. Okay. Next, this is the bag that I actually used for, um, whatchamacallit, um, for my, my night bag that I was telling you guys about for the ship. It is a Versace perfume. I stole this from Joey. He got a Versace cologne in this bag. I love Versace. I want one of their robes so bad. Um, so it's actually made really well. It says Versace perfume on it. Yeah. But I like how it has the dust bag. So it keeps it all like nice and neat. But this is the one that um, I used when we came back home from Bermuda. Because it, it held a lot and I could store it in my big bag. Um, it didn't take up a lot of space. I just put it on top and I made sure I just took it out and put my pajamas and whatever other things I needed to in it. It was super, super easy. This thing I've had forever and this has gone with me to um, quite a few vacations. I bought this. It has wheels on it. So I don't know if it'll, if you can see it. Let me see. It's not that wheel, I don't think. These stones here actually light up. I'm trying to see if I can get it to go. Probably not. I don't know how they work, but um, I got this for $20 at Walmart years ago. Actually, my some of my swimsuits are in here. I have to go through them. I have to go through some of them, because some of them I'm not going to wear anymore. I know that. Like this one, I'll probably never wear again. 
the faux monokini, these things were a thing at one point. Yeah. That's going in the donation pile right now, because I know I'm never going to wear that one again. I got some those really cute ones. Got a little guitar on it. But yeah, um, this bag's been really good to me over the years. Um, I'll bring this one with me on vacation sometimes. I'm not going to bring this next time I go to New York City because I brought that other one. It was so heavy. You need to, I understand because when you, if you have never been to New York City, you definitely have to go. It's definitely an experience. But the last time I went and the few times prior, everybody has roller bags. And now I know why, because they don't want to break their back carrying a huge weekender bag. Um, but I'll, bring, I'll probably bring this with me the next time I do that. New. Now it's this one. I got boxes and stuff here. To like make things a little easier. This one was another gift from Joey. He bought me a perfume and it was a Paris Hilton. I love Paris Hilton. So it was a Paris Hilton. I, as long as these don't break off or anything, I like to keep them. So it has her initials. The inside's all pink. Oh, there's another bag inside. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's got little wheels as well and there's a little zipper for that. Um, I really like this one. I was like in my early 20s when I got this and it still looks really good. I take pretty good care of my stuff. This is a Gucci. It's like, it's just plastic though. Yes, yes, I do sometimes switch back and forth from the term pocketbook or handbag. Uh, it depends. I don't know. I, I do think there's a difference between the two. I don't know um, the true definition, but yes, I agree with you. So this is my Gucci. Um, I bring this with me on every vacation because it is rubber. It's easy to clean, so I'll keep my makeup in these. And it's super cute. It's the only... Is this the only Gucci I own now? I think so. I think I had a Gucci purse at one point, but I got rid of it. I love Gucci though too, but it's expensive. It's expensive. It's a lot of bread. Okay, guys. Ugh. Getting down to the meat and potatoes. Can you believe it? Oh, do I got a knot in my hair again? It looks like it. Oh no, it's not just because I had my hair up when it was wet. So it was just like a wave in my hair. This is what happens. Although my hair is actually naturally curly. If my hair is thinned, I have Shirley Temple hair. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Love you, too. Mm. This wine is really good. This is Dark Horse Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it's a really good wine. It's got a great price point. I think it's a California wine, but don't quote me. But it's really good. They have a wide range, but I've really been feeling the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's so good. And I bet you... Um, if you like meat, this would pair really well with a steak. I haven't tried it, but the way it, it tastes, it's very nice. And it's not, if you don't like dry wines, it's not overly dry. It's really nice. They were at a Merlot, so I picked up that. Now, this was a gift from my mom a few years ago for my birthday. It's really awesome, and I always get compliments on this bag. Oh, the handle is all, like, weird. So it's this bag, which I used fairly recently. My boss loves this bag. She's like, where'd you get it? Um, it's this denim look, as you can tell. Michael Kors, love it. It's very nice. What's in there? Oh, real estate card. It's got the um, zipper that I love. There's some stuff in here, not a lot. But it's got multiple um, places to put things. It's just a really nice tote. It really is. It's gray. This is one of those totes that could go for summer, winter. This has like pretty much every season. The fact that it has that denim look, it can actually like bring down like more casual outfit. But I brought this to work all the time. Love it. Okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. A lot of this is going to be Juicy Couture. So I hope you love your Juicy as much as I do. Did I buy this or mom? I bought this. I couldn't help myself with this one, guys. So I got this at Kohl's when they were... The Kohl's by me cleared them out. So I don't know if they even sell Juicy Couture still. But the ones that are by me cleared them all out. Which is a shame because I love Juicy and I'm very sad. Um, so I got this bag for $10. 
it was originally a $69 purse. So this thing is awesome because when you lift this up, you have this main compartment here. What I liked is you have this zippered area here. So if you needed to put something down deep in here, like let's say your passport or um, credit card, something that you didn't want anybody to get from just like the flipping part, because I was raised by parents who grew up in an urban or a city area. And that's why my mother actually doesn't like purses like this one that do not have a zipper because of pickpocketing. People can pickpocket your purse relatively easy. So um, you'll see a lot of our bags tend to have zippers for that reason and we keep them zippered. But because this bag doesn't, it's a flip. And again, with a pickpocket, it would still be easy. I, guys, you may think, oh, you would feel it. I'm telling you, some of them are so good, you wouldn't even know. So a purse like this, you would put your important stuff that you don't want pickpocketed down in here. It goes down to the back of the bag. And I really liked that feature, especially if you're going to a city area or you know whatever. Um, love it. Haven't used it yet. Maybe for the holiday. I don't know. I got to pull this bag out. She may eventually end up on eBay. If that happens though, guys, I will let you know. So far, I only have three bags that are going to eBay. Oh man, this goes bad. Next, this is such an old fashioned, um, juicy, but it's awesome. I have this old juicy. Hello. You guys know what I'm talking about here. Mm hmm. Early 2000s. Now, this isn't from Kohl's. This is a legit juicy, and I just pulled out half of my hair. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, you got some of you guys might end up getting some of my hair with your purses, and I apologize. So, it says Juicy Couture on the front with a little flower. The typical J on the back. Which is beautifully, beautifully done. Um, what I liked most about this bag is the heavy heart on here. Super cute. And then, of course, the typical insides. It says on the one thing here the other side says hello I don't know if all of them had that part though some of them you don't see the hello and then of course a little mirror here I still love this and it's made out of like a velvet next I haven't used this one this one I found at the Goodwill this is a terry cloth Um, I wanted this bag so bad when it first came out, but I couldn't um, get it. It's so cute. It's got the oh, this is like stuck. The Juicy Couture key and all this detailing. I think I'm actually going to put her on eBay as much as I hate to admit it. Just because I'm not a fan typically of the terry cloths. You got your typical Juicy there. It says hello. Um, this one doesn't say shop in it though. Oh, um, that stinks. But I think I'm going to end up putting this little girl. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to put her in that pile. Ah, oh, that makes me so sad. Makes me so sad. This was my first Juicy Couture Daydreamer. It's kind of, I know, like, looks kind of weird. Um, it's kind of like a brown... Dalmatian, I guess, but I love this. Mainly, I couldn't find... I told you guys that the area that I live in, we don't have... It's not a fashion area by any means. It stinks, but it is what it is. Um, so I found this bag at like TJ Maxx or something, and I scooped it up because I didn't think I'd find another one. But I, I do like it. Um, I'm on the fence about putting her on eBay, to be truthful. Um, if any of you guys are interested in it, let me know. I've got the doggies here. Um, she's very, I mean, there's a little wear on the handles, but that's expected. This is the inside. Um, you got the big shop one here. There's a hello one here in the corner. It's actually really nice. This one's really nice. Of course, you have the uh, typical... So this is a maybe, guys. If any of you are interested, I'll list it. I don't know. Let me throw in the corner. Because um, I don't think I'm going to use her again, to be truthful. This one I've had since high school, guys. Seriously. 
I um uh, I really should um consider the uh I really should consider um selling this one because I haven't used this in years. I got this from Wilson's Leather. It's a bowling ball style bag. Look at that. She's old. She's she fits a lot. I um in my senior and junior my senior year I carried this bag um, instead of a backpack because I could fit a lot in it and it still looks in great condition it's a leather bag um, there's just little I'll have to remove those um, I think we're gonna put this guy on the chopping block but it's a really really nice bag this is where you would put your ID or whatever this is actually my old high school hall pass in here that's how long ago this was. Um, actually, that's not going to be coming with the bag. I got to put that in the scrapbook. Um, but yeah, so uh, I may be listing this. So if you guys are interested, let me know. I'm going to put that over there in the corner. I think it's time. Wow, guys. It's only been an hour. We're already towards the bottom of this. So that's a good sign. There's only three bags left. And a few more things in here that I might actually sell, but I'll show you anyway. So next is, this is a Bob Mackey. This is one of my first designer pieces. And it goes back and forth with me with this bag. It's a nice vinyl. It's okay, Scotty. I'm glad you were able to join us. I got the phone plugged in, so this video can be as long as we want. So if we want to sit and chat, we can sit and chat. But we're doing get, uh, handbags or pocketbooks at the moment. So this is a Bob Mackie. I love Bob Mackie. He designed, if you're not familiar with who Bob Mackie is, he designed a lot of Cher's clothing. He does a line of Barbie dolls with very, they're very eccentric. So um, he did the, if I can turn back time outfit from Cher, he did the famous Native American one that she wore. Um, so many iconic Cher pieces were done by him. Um, and he's also designed pieces for other celebrities too, but Cher's probably the one you'll notice the most. I have a few Barbie dolls that he's designed. I just love his, his style. Um, I think he's more of an 80s um, fashion designer. Um, more people are obsessed with Gucci and Fendi and other designers, you know, Versace. There's so many others, so many others. We can, there's a huge list. But Bob Mackie was something that I was obsessed with as a little girl because my mother, I mean, being a woman, the 70s and the 80s, um, that was somebody that you heard of was Bob Mackie. So I always wanted a Bob Mackie handbag. This bag is actually made with real python. I did not know that was a thing. Apparently it is. Um, so this bag is made out of actual, it, it feels weird. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's very weird. Um, Joey will not come near this purse because he doesn't like snakes. So I don't normally use this handbag because of that. Um, some of it is kind of shedding, but, um, this says Mackie on it. Really cute. Um, it's just a boxy purse, but I like that about it. And it's very, very big. I use this a lot, but I've taken pretty good care of it. So, um, if you guys are interested in this, I will probably be putting um, on eBay with her dust cover as well. Because um, I'm not going to use her anymore, so somebody else should be able to get to use it, you know? It's going to be hard to say goodbye to you. But it's time. And because a lot of these have just been sitting here over the years, and it's time to actually clear them out. So if you... I'll show you the I'll show you the bag I'm getting rid of. So you are more than welcome. Just let me know in the comment section if you're interested. And then um, yeah. So next is this old. This goes with that hat that I showed you earlier. This is a um, Venus Williams. This was through um, Wilson's Leather. This is an old leather handbag. I use this in high school a lot. She's definitely seen better days. Um, to retire her as well. I love this bag. I still have, there is a broken, um, this used to be a bracelet that I wore. It's got little dolphins on it. 
and I have this. Look how old this is. I gotta check out what's in here. I think this is my old schedule. Okay, this is a certificate to replace jewelry that I don't even know I still own. No, I still own it. I, I just saw what name it was on it. That's my old high school schedule. So, um, if you guys are interested in this purse, let me know. Um, I'm going to put her in the possible pile. If you're interested in this handbag. I think it's time to say goodbye because we haven't um, used her in a long time. Let me know. Last but certainly not least, this is what I used on the beach at my Cape Cod vacation recently. I bought this at a Goodwill years ago when I was going to college um, for my college bag. Because at that point, I really didn't have a good um, quality backpack, but I saw who made it. And realized how it was a good name. I literally paid no more than 15 for it at the time. That was big because this was a huge brand at the time. It's still a popular brand, I believe. But um, this bag is oh, at least 15 years old. Um, it's probably older because I don't know how long the person before me had it. This is a Tommy Hilfiger backpack. I brought this with me. Um, to the Cape. I put all my stuff in it and we just went to the beach. It was perfect. My wallet went in there. The key to the hotel room went in there. And um, yeah. Love this bag. It's been so good to me. I'm never going to keep it. Um, maybe not so much the mermaid one. We'll see. Maybe um, I will part one with, with, with that one for you guys. Uh, what else is in this closet that I can show you? That's my light. Oh, probably time to get rid of this. I think I'm going to put this. Yep, we're going to put this on eBay. I didn't even know I still had. I got rid of all the accessories to go with it. Um, my old Lady Gaga outfit. So, this is going on eBay for sure. Um, I won't be wearing that again anytime soon. So, yeah, what else do I have in here? I have like camera boxes in here. Oh, my mom got me this. I forgot I had this. She got it because she said that the character on here reminded her of me. She was cute. I'm not going to put that in my car because you can always use a recyclable bag. I completely forgot I had that one. What else is in here? I have some collectibles in here. You guys want to see them? Now this is gonna, I, there's a few collectibles that I love, and when it gets to the point where it's like, they've been out for a while, I'll put them back in their boxes, put them away, and then bring them back out later on. Um, I'm actually going through a lot of my stuff right now. Um, for those of you who have waited this long, um, my seller, I don't really do it anymore, my mom takes care of it more than I do, um, it's Star, Dragon Princess Star on eBay. I have a bunch of toys and stuff on there that she's um, helped me get rid of. Now this isn't one of the first Juicy Couture items I ever bought. This is a Juicy Couture ceramic bank and I love this one. There was a pig out at the time as well um, but I didn't get her and I kind of regret it now. So this is my Juicy Couture bank. It says Kiss My Couture. I have a thing for banks as well. I don't know why I love collecting banks. I never used him though. This is a frog prince because I love frog princes and it says kiss my couture. Isn't he cute? I don't know because I haven't, I like treating myself to things once in a while like special like big items so I'm thinking about getting myself some new clothes, a handbag. I don't know because of my new promotion um, I wanted to celebrate that so let me treat myself to something. But I've been wanting to get the rest of the juicy couture Banks. He's so darn cute. Is he not? And I kept him in his box. Because we didn't have a lot of things growing up. 
My, my parents worked very hard to provide for us, and I'm very thankful for that. Curious. Um, so, things like this, like, I cherish, because we didn't have name brands growing up. My mom didn't start buying name brands for herself until, like, I moved out. Um, so, we really appreciate every little thing we have. You know, we work very hard for all our items, and how it should be, right? Um, this I actually got from Disney Reward Points, from, like, when you buy DVDs and stuff. I don't know. Like, maybe I'll get rid of it one day. I don't know. I've had this since 2009, because the little receipt is in here. Every, every Christmas I say I'm going to bring her out, and I don't. But she's super cute. She might go on eBay. If any of you guys are Disney collectors and are interested, let me know. This is called The Gift of Beauty. And this is Aurora. She's truly beautiful. I mean, I love Disney, but she's not really like... I mean, she's one of my favorite princesses. I think I'm gonna... Somebody else will definitely love her more than me. I, I am gonna um, put her on eBay, I think. I'll put her back in her box. I think she's numbered. Like, she legit has all of her stuff. Let me see if I can... I have her little book. Her little certificate of authenticity is here. And then this is D23 Expo. This is probably no good anymore, but it's got like all this stuff. Okay. We'll put her back in the box. And um, I think she's gonna find herself a new home. It makes no sense just to hang on to something. It's gonna sit in her box. So. It's time, sweetie. It's time. And the last thing I have, I've actually been hanging on to this because I'm looking for the perfect bar. This was my first Tiffany item. Um, this is a gift. All of this paper and stuff. And these, it's Tiffany on. They are these really cool glasses. It doesn't say where they're from or anything like that. I mean, I'm assuming they're from Tiffany, but like, it's, you would think that something like this, they would tell you, hey, this is from Tiffany. I guess the box should be enough, right? I've been saving them for years. Anything else in here? I think that's everything. Besides my clothes and stuff like that. And my obsession with uh, um, purses. But um, I guess we didn't do too bad. We have a Disney collectible with a Lady Gaga costume. And one, two, three, four... Oh, I think we got quite a bit of um, purses that we're going to get rid of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, I'll show you guys the purses that we are going to be putting up. Just to let you know what we're getting rid of here. So, the first one I'll show you is this Betsy... Whoa! Hit my head. Betsy Johnson Diamond. Next one is going to be this Juicy Couture Daydreamer. This is my first daydreamer ever. I love her. But she needs a new home. This is a Lady Gaga Born This Way. Still has the tag. That's so cute. This came from Hot Topic. That's going. Next is a um, Juicy Couture, Vintage Juicy Couture. Next is this tote bag. Here comes a little bag from Victoria's Secrets. Next one is this leather bowling ball style handbag made out of leather from Wilson's Leather. Vintage. Any legs on it. This is a um, Venus Williams handbag. I'll probably throw in the jacket and the hat as well. I think we'll do a whole set with that one. 
and then my Bob Matthew that I showed you earlier. So um, we got a decent amount of bags. So I can get them sold. Maybe I'll treat myself to a new Louie. Who see? Who um, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be cool. All right. So we're done looking at purses. Let's talk. My nose is itchy. Um, this this closet I use for um empty boxes and stuff like that in here now. I'll put that there. I use for, um, that should probably go. Now that I'm looking at it. Like old jackets and stuff. I'm going to have to go through these next. So many things that I'll never wear. So my winter coats are here. Um, the dress I wore to my best friend's wedding is here. Really pretty. It's a little big on me now, but it's still really super cute. My mother gave me an outfit in here that I think it's kind of cute. Not that nice. I might save some parts of it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's some. There's definitely some things. At least we got through some of them. So that was a great thing to do. But um, it's been a crazy week for me, guys. To be truthful with you. Um, I had training for my new position, which was great. I learned a lot and I'm very excited to start. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I truly am. It's been something I've been wanting to do for quite some time and to finally be able to get into my field is going to be amazing. I can't wait to get there. Um, the training was really good. Um, it was done at a Hilton hotel and they gave us a really nice lunch. I was there for two days. Uh, it was quite a ride, honestly. So, um, but it was great. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, my my friend's been very sick, um, so I saw her a little bit yesterday. I actually picked raspberries in her field, even though it's like freezing out, but there were still a few left, so we got them before the first frost comes. There's actually been some snow in some areas. Um, not where my house is yet, but I'm sure it's right around the corner. I plan on doing... Yeah, have a cobbler after this and I'm um, decorating for the holiday Halloween I just feel hmm, I'm happy um oh um I haven't posted them yet uh, I might post one tonight I did do another couch talk video um and I'm taking a mini vacation this weekend so I'll probably be doing more of those. I can try to film one live. If you guys would be interested in that, totally let me know. Now that I've kind of figured out how to like prop you guys and keeping you charged in, um, we can totally do something like that. I think that'd be great. Um, yeah, I really love doing these live videos with you guys and talking. It's just, um, I get to learn about you. You get to learn more about me. Like I said, I mean, I know some YouTubers are characters. They design who um, they want you to see. And that's not what I am or who I am. What you see is what you get. Because um, that's not fun. I've actually stopped following quite a few YouTubers because you can tell that they're fake. And I'm not, I, I don't like that. I don't like fake people. Uh, I like honesty. You know, I would rather, one of my things that I always say, I would rather you hurt me with the truth to try to spare me with a lie because I hate that you know tell me the truth you know it may initially hurt me but I can respect you a whole lot more and it'll strengthen whatever relationship we have more if you do that then if I find out you lied to me because then once you break that trust how can I trust you again so um that's my theory on that it's I'm just saying that the week in general with the training and um, it was great, but um, it's bittersweet because I'm leaving a department that I love and I have become very connected with the girls I work with to go to something that's better. And yeah, we're in the same building, so it's not like we're not going to see each other. But for having people who have been like, it, I mean, it's very odd to say because you don't see that dynamic in offices. I've worked in offices for other companies. And to truly have like a family-like feeling or a family-like 
um, relationship with your coworkers is really amazing, and I totally wish that everybody could have that. I know, I mean, you have shows like The Office, and they show, like, the bad things about offices that can potentially happen, but truly, I don't have that where I work, and it's great. It truly is. So, um, and they've been so supportive of me with my going on to this new position. It's, it's really bittersweet because I hate to go, but it's also at the same time a time to go. I'm going to go through these bathing suits really quick while I talk. There's a couple that I'm definitely going to wear again. I think this next year, I was talking to my friend because um, I have been very shy to wear bikinis the past couple of years just because of my my weight and how I look and I just didn't feel confident but I think next year will be the year that I pull out the bikini. I've had this one forever. It's actually been one of my favorites. Um, I think I'm going to do it. I haven't worn these in a very long time um, but I got some really cute ones. I may buy myself a new one. Who knows? Um, but yeah. I don't remember this one. Oh, now I do. Now I do. But I'm not going to keep it. Um, Oh, really? I will definitely have to check that out. Look at this. I have never worn this one. It's a baby fat. It still has the uh, tags on it. Something to look forward to next year. Where's the bottom? There's the bottoms. Very excited. Um, yeah, because I finally got my confidence back to a point where I think I would. It's, it's, it's been one heck of a travel, I'll, I'll tell you that. Oh, thank you so much. Um, it's important, it really is. I was raised, I guess, very old school compared to some people around my age group. And, um, I don't see eye to eye to a lot of the girls in my frame. I've always been drawn to older people, as weird as that may sound. But I'm the old lady in my group of friends. Um, just because even in college, I never hung out with people my age when I was like 18. I always hung out with people who were in their 30s, 40s, or older. Um, because we seemed to have like the same wavelength. And I liked learning from them, from their life experiences. There was somebody that... I took a history class with he I wanted to say was in his 50s at that time and um, I still see him around sometimes really great person um, a veteran very educated and when I was going through school I was having trouble grasping certain things um, I forgot what it was I think it might have been World War One that I just was having trouble grasping. Like, you always talk about World War II, you always talk about the Civil War, but for some reason I was having trouble grasping the ideas of World War One. So I was like, we got out of class one day, and we all had, like, time in between classes. I'm like, listen, can you, like, just sit with me and talk so that we can, like, because I had a lot of questions. And he was just a fountain of knowledge, and it was um, amazing to get that kind of information because he was a history buff. He, I think, was actually majoring in history, where I was not, I needed the elective. Um, so it was great to get that information. I really um, appreciated it. I just like learning from other people and learning about other people. It's always been an interest of mine. My new position kind of um, works along those lines a little bit where you're learning more about people. And I really am excited about that. But again, I've been in my current position with this company for about three or f three years I think roughly and it's been such an amazing experience and they were all so happy for me and so supportive and uh, it's bittersweet it really is because on one hand I didn't I don't, I don't hate the position I'm in now I don't um but when the opportunity came for the one that I really been wanting I couldn't pass the opportunity and I even told my my current boss um because I, I, I mentioned it to her before I even went for the interview. Not that I don't love it here or not that I don't want to stay with you guys. But the position that I've been wanting to get for a very long time has opened up. And I want to have the opportunity to try to go for it. And she was very supportive. She was so happy. Because she actually worked the field um, in a 
different city. I forgot the city that she had worked in before she moved to where we are. And she loved it too. So she was very supportive and happy for me. And when I got it, it was shocking. Oh, thank you so much, Scotty. I really love being able to talk to you guys like this. I really do see you guys as friends. I really do. And being able to talk to you about things like that, or even like the problems I've had with family members, you guys have always been so supportive and so loving and wonderful. Um, I couldn't ask for more. That is so cool. I haven't been to a really good fireworks show in forever. Oh, like we, it stinks. Cause after the recession hit, a lot of the areas where I live, um, you couldn't see fireworks shows anymore because they were expensive and they tend to hire them outside of our state. Um, it stinks. And we really like, you can't buy fireworks where I, uh, I'm from. Um, there's a few states in the area that I'm like clumped in that it's illegal to own fireworks or to buy fireworks. If you get caught going to other states and buying fireworks and bringing them back, you can get in trouble. So typically you have like really crappy sparklers. Cause I remember sparklers when I was a kid and they were awesome. And now they really stink. Like they don't stay lit, but whatever. Um, it is what it is, unfortunately, and it stinks. No, and you're absolutely right. Um, fake people don't improve anything or, and friends. The, the person that's a family member that's in my life that's extremely negative is also extremely fake. And for the most part in what I do, I try to make friends with everybody. I love every, I love being around people. I love talking to people. It's just always who I've been. But when I come across something like that, I will dissociate and it's like, all right, that that's your thing. That's fine. I'm not going to be cruel to you. I'm not going to be mean to you. However, I'm not going to be hurt by you either. And it's so difficult when you're dealing with that and you can't escape it because you're family. Okay, like if somebody at work or somebody you meet out in the street, it's easy to disassociate and not have to deal with them on a daily basis. But when you're related, it stinks a lot. But that's, you don't really want to hear me talk about that. I'm just slowly putting my handbag back. But yes, guys, I have a, a little bit of a problem when it comes to purses. Um, it's as bad as my shoe problem. I don't know what's worse. I guess with my shoes, I'm more picky um, as far as what I want and what my vision is for my shoes. So I'm very picky with my shoes and how they fit and blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty picky when it comes to that. My purses, however, ooh, your girl's bad. But now because Joy bought me at Louie, I've been very spoiled. I mean, I've, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been wanting that Louis Vuitton purse since I, oh my God, over 10 years. And um, like I said, we didn't come from money. So we live very poorly. Um, I'm sure this is not something people want to hear, but uh, I'm just telling you a little bit about my story. I think that's why some of you, I'm, I'm assuming that's why you guys come and see me. Um, we grew up very poor. My mom... Um, she would make like for the longest time I wouldn't eat soups or tomato sauce because my mom would take like um she couldn't afford much for, for food so she would take like a um, a soup bone and make soup and that we would eat that literally every day for all your meals I mean you had like pancakes in the morning or cereal in the morning but lunch and dinner was soup for like a week so I wouldn't touch soups forever and same with sauce you make a huge pot of sauce because pasta is cheap and we would have to live on that for like a week um so we didn't come from money we didn't have name brand clothing uh, when my grandmother bought my dad a nintendo system that was huge for us it was really huge for us because we couldn't afford stuff like that she bought me for my birthday and i still have it to this day um, my super nintendo that was my birthday gift and i got the donkey kong cult pack that had the controller the donkey kong game and the machine and i still have it to this day still works i was playing it this weekend so 
I guess when you grow up like that, you learn to appreciate things more. I don't know. I, I don't know the latter of the two. You know, I, I didn't grow up in a family that had money, so I'm not sure how um, it's like having that kind of a lifestyle. But I definitely learned to appreciate things and to appreciate people more because the the people that were in our lives were very caring. I My um, grandmother on my mom's side passed away when I was five and her and I were super close. Me and my grandparents on my father's side are not close at all. Um, truly, I don't know much about them. I can literally count on my ten, hand, my ten fingers how many times um, I've been around them. So it's we're not close and that's okay. You know, everybody's family dynamics are different. But my mom's side I was very close with. Like I said, I, I, I told you numerous times, I started this channel originally as a way of coping with my grief because my grandfather died. And he was a huge part of my world. Um, definitely one of the um, father figures in my life. He, he taught me so many lessons. I can't... Losing him was um, a huge deal. Um, it still hurts. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it's been about seven years now since I've lost my grandfather. And, um, there's days where I'm, I'm fine, but it'll be, there'll be days right out of the blue where I'm a mess, where I can't stop crying and I can't stop thinking about him. Um, I listen to old songs. I have a, you're probably going to laugh at me. There is a you guys know I'm also religious. I don't talk about it on this channel because I know um, it offends some people. So my channel is to bring everybody together and have a good happy time, you know, and forget about the world's worries. Um, but I am religious and I remember him so long ago now. He had discovered this priest that would sing and he brought my mother a CD and my mother is extremely religious as well. And she would play the CD, and I grew up around this particular CD. I found it recently, because it's not an easy CD to find. And I finally found it, so I've been listening to that in my car. So, And I, honestly, it has helped, like, brighten my mood, like, on my way to work or on my way home when I'm trying to de-stress. Normally, I will go to the gym right after work to de-stress. It's a great way, especially if you've had a stressful day, you know, to run it out or work on um, weights because I'll do cardio and I'll do weightlifting as well. Not a lot, just enough. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, Jamie, absolutely. I definitely, when I think of my grandfather, I think of the wonderful memories we had. I think of the wonderful lessons that he taught me. Um, he taught me so, so much. Um, he, one of the biggest lessons he taught me was um to save whether like because you know when you're a little kid you get a little allowance and when I talk about allowance I didn't get like $20 I'm sure some kids get like $50 a week or something today but I didn't get a lot I would get like a couple quarters here and there and um he had this fish pond in his backyard and it had kois gorgeous they were beautiful and he had this one koi he was like a behemoth like I'm not exaggerating he was over 12 inches long he was probably close to two feet. He was big. He was, be I mean, his, he had a beautiful bit. My grandfather was really good at um, gardening and animal care and stuff like that. So he would pay me a dollar per fish at the end of the season because the, the, the pond wasn't deep enough for, to keep them in there over the winter. They would freeze. So I would go out there with my little net and I would fish them out and I would put them on this huge tank that he had in his house. I'm actually living in the house that he lived in. Um, so he had this huge tank. I I think it was 100 gallons. It was huge. And we would bring them in and we'd put them in there in the wintertime. So if I found something that I wanted that was, we'll say it was a Barbie doll. And we'll say she was $20. And I only had $5. I would save until I had that 20 And I think that those kinds of lessons actually, I feel like that today, kids really don't learn those lessons. Like to learn the importance of saving money. To learn to work for something that you really want. Because okay, you want that basketball or whatever, it costs $25 and you have 10, but mom gives you the rest of it. You don't really appreciate the work and effort that went into getting the item. Whereas as a child, you know, I had $5, the toy I wanted was 10. I knew I had to wait and save until I got that item. Now, I'm not going to lie, my mom 
if she had the money and she didn't think that the IMI wand was going to be there next time, she'd buy it and put it away for me until I had enough money to save for it. And I included tax too. I had to figure that out too. So I got really good at figuring out those kinds of percentages and figuring out tax for the item. Well, oh, if it's this much, I need to add this much extra to pay for tax. But I definitely did those lessons um, that he taught me, instilled in me um, values that I think are very rare in today's world. And that's a shame. And I kind of feel out of my element sometimes when I talk to other people around my age group because they didn't have those kinds of values growing up either. So it's kind of a weird mix, I guess. But good too. Maybe one day we'll go back to some of those old things, you know? At least I hope so. But yeah, he was definitely a huge um, impact on my life, both with music. Um, he's where... He, he's my mom, my mom's side, my mom's first generation in this country. Um, so there was a strong German influence in the household as far as food traditions and stuff like that. Um, so definitely influenced me in a lot of different ways. So, but that's a good thing. Um, I'm just upset that he couldn't be here longer. Um, there's so much that happened in the past couple of years after he's passed that I wish he would have been there for, um, both positive things like me getting this job and my brother uh, graduating college. Um, just, there's so much that I wish he could have been there to enjoy with us. And the holidays, he has a chair in my mom's house and my mom has his vest, um, that he always wore over that chair and nobody touches that chair. It's always been his chair. And it's bittersweet. So it's like, you're there, but you're not there. But no holiday has ever been the same since. And anybody who's ever lost somebody that close to them will say that. It's never the same. The first holidays, <clears throat> he died in January. So it was after the holiday season. And when the holidays came that year, like the, the Thanksgiving, the Christmas, and all that stuff. And mom was asking, what do you want to do? Easter was the worst because that was his favorite. So my mom asked me, what should we do? And I'm like, I truly don't care. I truly don't care. I have no interest. I don't want to do anything. You could order pizza for all I care. I was just so upset at the thought of going through these happy times without him that I, I, I didn't want to do it. I wanted to ignore the holidays entirely. I had to um, give my mother credit for that part. She was the driving force with that one. She was like, well, he wouldn't want us to ignore this. He wouldn't want you to feel this way. So we did celebrate the holidays as we typically did. But I cannot tell you the pain it was to go through them. Um, especially Easter being his favorite. It was the hardest for me. And then um, Christmas came. And that was car. Because with Christmas, my mom celebrates um, with German traditions and stuff like that. The main event is Christmas Eve. So you do your, your feast and your gifts and everything is Christmas Eve. That is the main event. We all dress up to the nine and it's a huge thing. Um, Joey, um, obviously not, he's um, been with us for so long. He's used to that tradition, but we still do the day part with, with Joey and we do that. You know, at our house, we'll do the presents. My father's birthday is actually Christmas day. So we always do a birthday party for him on Christmas Day. So it's actually, it's a big, beautiful, um, it's a beautiful time. You know, it's a lot of good things. But the first Christmas without him, because he always came the night before, you know, and we would, my mom has German um, Christmas Carol CDs and, um, oh my goodness, my pronunciation. It's ring bells go ting -a ling -a ling It's a German song. I'm going to butcher the translation. I'm not even going to bother trying to translate it. But there's this one song that talks about little bells ringing. Um, it's a German song. I can sing it in, in English and German, but I'm not going to do the German to you. I'm not going to do that to you. Because um, my... I've been told I have, at times, a very weird accent. Where I live, because I'm not from the area I live in they pick up on an accent. I don't think I personally have one, but they seem to think I do. And I have been known to butcher German words occasionally because of my American accent. So 
I'm not gonna put you through that. But we always listened to that because it was a tradition with my mom growing up to listen to the German carols before you open up your gifts and stuff, which we always do. And my mother makes my favorite. Oh, my mother makes homemade rouladen with schnitzel, and it's so delicious. And the red cabbage. It's like one of my favorite meals. I love it. But it's a very special treat because there's a lot of work that goes into making a rouladen. So that is what it is. Oh, thank you so much, Jamie. I mean, truly, it means a lot. Um, I know he is, and it's just very painful to not have him here. Um, my brother works the store that he um, pretty much built. It's a family business, and um, he'll swear he'll hear him sometimes. And he'll be like, I could have sworn I heard Oopa, and it's bittersweet. We were all very close. He was the what I'm looking for here. He was like the main, um, he was the stone of our family. He, um, came to America from Germany right after World War II. Um, you know, he went through a war. Um, he was very young when he went through that war. Um, family members were killed. Um, people starved. He became a butcher because in at that time, it wasn't about money as far as wealth. If you had food, that was considered wealth during war times. So he came to this country, a very young man, and he had, I think, maybe 25 cents in his pocket at the time when he got off the boats. Um, he went through the, like Ellis Island um, in New York, and he put the only quarter or the only, I'm not sure if it was a, do a quarter of a dime or a dime, whatever it was, and he put into a cigarette machine when he got here. He literally had no money. And he ended up getting a job and working as a butcher. And he became, you know, he made something for himself. He got married. He had a family. So he truly lived the American dream. I always um, found that remarkable. I always found it honorable that he literally came to a completely different country. He didn't speak any English when he got here. He learned from reading. He He's the only person I've ever met that literally read an encyclopedia from A to Z. I've never met anybody who's ever done I've never done that, nor do I plan on doing it. Uh, but that's how he learned English, was reading an encyclopedia. And he had a very heavy German accent, but he could speak very good English. And like I said, you come to a country, you don't even know the language, you have no money, you have no idea what you're doing. That had to be scary. I would have been terrified. So that always, um, I admired him for that. It's like, wow, you crossed to the country, you went by boat to a completely new country, you had no idea. Um, and you started yourself up a new life. And that, I think, is absolutely beautiful. Him and I were close because I'm the oldest of the grandchildren. And him and I were extremely close. So to lose him was very, very um, difficult, for me. especially after my Uma died when I was very little. Her and I were close. And then after I lost her, we were each other's support system through that grieving process. And we were close till his dying day. So um, it's difficult sometimes. But, um, you know, I'll never forget him. You know, he was such an amazing thing. It just stinks, you know. To lose anybody stinks. Like... <clears throat> I mean, I, at some point, I'm going to lose my parents, and I don't like thinking about that either, but, I mean, at some point, the older generations are going, they're going to go before you, you know, that's how nature intends for it anyway. It's not easy to think about. Nobody wants to think about the negative stuff, you know? I always want to think about the positives. But it is what it is. Honestly, your girl would much prefer to be on the beach right now. We were planning on doing another trip to the Cape, but we halted on it. I'm slightly upset about it. I'm not going to lie to you, but it was a wise decision not to do it right now because we have other plans and goals that we're working on. So next year, I'm trying to put my purses away. I agree with you on that, Jamie. Absolutely. Um, it's just, like you said, you're going to another, it's just like, uh, I'll see you later. It's just difficult, especially 
when you're used to seeing somebody every day and visiting them every day and you don't have that opportunity or you don't have the opportunity. I'm not to this day and I'll never delete it. I still have them as a contact on my phone. I will never delete it. My mom has on her, she still has a house phone and I think, I don't know why she keeps the corded line truly, but um, she still has it. But saved on there, she still has his voicemails. And we'll listen to them occasionally. It's it's odd to listen to them now, to be honest with you. I mean, I'll never get that voice, but to hear it and realize that he's not here anymore, that's hard. But I was blessed to have him for as long as I did. Oh, thank you, Jamie. I love you guys. You guys are always giving me love, and I really, really appreciate that. I'm very, very lucky. I think it's time to get rid of this one, too, possibly. What do you guys think? We're going to put that in the pile, too. I'm just trying to get rid of bags that I don't really use anymore. Your girl's gotten spoiled with some of these bags, I tell you. What should we put away now? This one is it. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are too good to me. You truly are. I really love talking to you guys. I lost the one purse that I was supposed to put on here. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think that's what I don't want to put. No, I knew it. I'm a mess. Trying to keep these purses in order. It's like a full-time job, I swear. Put that there. And I got that empty box. But yeah, um, I know that winter's coming, which I'm not excited about. But I'm really excited for the holidays and stuff like that. My two favorite well, I guess, yes. I love Halloween, and I love Christmas. Although Thanksgiving is really great, too, again, to be around family and friends. I just love being around people and, you know, those lovely times. I have you guys, too. And being able to like, talk to you. I talk to a lot of you on... I know, I've been really bad lately with the social media, guys. I'm so sorry. Between the training and so many other things going on in my life right now. Oh! It's not bad, it's just a lot. I I tend to wear myself too thin sometimes. It's a pain in the butt. And I was sick earlier this week, too. Oh, hey. I never showed you guys probably this before. Okay. I have a glove collection. I know some of you mentioned it before. So I'll show you some of them. So these are some of my wrap-ups. That I wear like over fancy things. This one's really pretty. My brother's one girlfriend. Um, give me that one. I miss her a lot. So I'll show you some of the gloves. This one's a pair of lace. And I have worn these before. I haven't worn them a lot um, recently. Lace. I always loved long opera gloves, even in high school. I had opera gloves on for both of my proms. These gold ones, I think, are almost time to retire. They look still fairly okay, though. But I don't know what to wear them with, I'll be honest with you. I think I got these at a costume shop. These are like for superhero kind of costumes. Mm. These, I think, are a little too extra for any normal outfit. Ooh. Oh, well, these ones are wearing out. Okay. Yes, please do. Yep, these are going. So these are my little lace ones. They're super cute. This next pair, though, I got the Deb years ago, guys, and I still love them. Oh, wow, there's a few pairs of gloves here. Are you ready for this? So this is probably my favorite pair, and I wore this pair with my first prom dress. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm probably going to keep these forever. I'm going to find an outfit to wear them with. I don't know if you can see. The lighting's bad. See the holes? And they got little, like, diamonds on them. 
I love gloves. I always have. But my fingers are super long. My fingers are actually... Okay. So here are the fingers. My fingers start way down here. There we go. Right down there. So my fingers are <laughs> very long for these types of gloves. But I love them anyway. My abusive ex that I don't talk about um, used to say I had freakish man hands. I don't talk about him very often. And that video I want to make, um, I know you guys have mentioned it a long time ago. I mentioned the thought of talking about it, about um, what I went through and to try to help other women who are going through similar things. And I, I can't tell how many times I've filmed and how many times I've deleted because it's it's not easy, even after all these years. It's been over 15 years. It's not easy. It's been about 15 years, I would say. Well, not that long. 10? 10 for sure. Okay. One day I will eventually film it, guys. It's going to be a while. So these are the black ones I wore for my senior prom. I bought another pair of black ones, not realizing I had a pair of black, but... Oh, man. I forgot how much I loved wearing gloves. But my fingers are a lot longer than what the gloves are. Like I said, my fingers start um, down here. I'm like half an inch underneath. Like, I'm right down here. Thank you. They feel so good, too. And the last pair I have is this white pair. Well, this one's wearing out. But it is what it is. And these ones go up pretty far. Actually, these ones fit my fingers pretty good. This finger's been hurting me a lot lately, though, and I can't tell you why. I don't know. I think the black looks better on camera. Like, right here. Let me show you. I don't know what it is. It feels a little like a lump, but this finger's been killing me. Oh, yep, right here. Like, I don't know why. It's weird. It's not a wart or anything. But it hurts. But those are my gloves. Where's the other one? Two black ones. Two with the holes. So I really just got one random glove. That makes no sense. Two. Two. If I got one random glove, there's no sense in keeping it. Only me. Only me. So I'm going to put my black ones and those ones there. But yeah. Seriously, I just got a random glove? That sounds like me, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I have one random glove because I have these two. Wow, Michelle, you got problems, girl. You got problems, girl. Here I am, like, my shirt's going. Okay, so I guess um, I'm not keeping this glove because there's only one glove. That's a shame. Maybe we'll do Instagram photos with it. But yeah, I know I've kind of been, like, absent on... Um, social media lately, guys, there's just been a lot of go things going on between stress, um, my new job, and then trying to get things ready for um, eBay and all these other things, and it's nothing personal. It truly isn't. Um, I've been making them. I did post some things on Instagram recently, but I do need Snapchat more and that, those other things, and I do apologize for that. It's nothing personal. It truly isn't. I have a very bad habit of doing multiple things and wearing myself thin. It's a very, it's a very bad habit. Um, and I like to do multiple things at once. It is what it is. It is what it is. So. Gotta love it. I want to go travel. I want to go into the vacation so bad. But, like I did tell you guys earlier, I am planning a mini vacation. I'm going to be off Friday through Monday. So, um, I might do a live sit with me on the couch video with you guys. I've already filmed one. I'm going to put the first part. There's four parts of that one. I'll put one of them on tonight. Probably after I'm done filming with you guys. And, um, yeah. Because I know you guys really love the first one. Um, and I've been meaning to do more. But I tend to like to do those when I'm the only person in the house. That might don't happen often. Um, so...
feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. So I'm going to be doing that maybe Friday. What do you guys think? Would that be a nice way to end the week? We'll do a Friday talk with me video. Um, I haven't done a mukbang in forever either. Maybe it will be one of those. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't even know what to do. I'm trying to do um, new topics and stuff like that. Like I said, the one about the ex-boyfriend has been something that's been weighing on my mind more so recently, uh, mainly because a girl that I know has gone is going through something extremely similar to what I went through, and, it, and I've been really wanting to make the video, guys. I'm not gonna. I really have, because I can smell out those relation those those bad relationships like nothing. When you go through something like that, you can sniff it out like nothing. But it's hard to talk about. It's for anybody. I don't know if any of you have been through something similar of what I'm describing to you. It's very difficult to talk about. Um, it's very, it's not an easy thing to, 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 to talk about. Um, I got lucky as far as how I got out of that relationship, but not a lot of people are, you know what I'm saying? So, and I, I wanted to mention it. I wanted to talk about it to try to help other women who have been through something similar of what I went through, but it's not an easy subject to talk about. Uh, no, per I've never truly told anybody exactly what happened to me. Um, not because I'm ashamed, but because I never wanted to relive it again. And even after all these years, there'll be certain words that'll trigger me. Mm -hmm. I, I know the feeling, Jamie. I totally know it. Um, I've been with Joey for a very long time, and he don't know the entire story. I've told him parts. My parents know parts. Um, but I've never fully admitted everything. And I don't know if I ever will, to be honest with you. Because it was just that horrific. And I pray to God that no other human being goes through it. Um, I pray to God whoever he ends up with as a wife or girlfriend, whatever, that... For her sake that he ends up changing and if he doesn't that she finds the strength to do what she needs to do to leave and um i feel that way for any person that goes through that with a man woman or whatever because it's nobody deserves to be treated poorly nobody deserves to be abused or anything like that it's horrible absolutely horrible but it happens it still happens today and it just i'll never understand how People get off treating humans like that, to treat other people like that, to treat animals like that, like the like like the pit bull fighting. How, what how what kind of disgusting creature are you? I'll never understand it. I don't know. To hurt anything intentionally, I will never understand. Never. Like what kind of like you must have had a bad childhood. Something must have happened to you in your life to make you do that to other people. My ex did. He had a very, very demented childhood. So I kind of understand where it came from. But you have to rise above it. There was a story that I read a long time ago about. And it could have been fic fictitious story. I don't really know. And it was about two twins who were separated at birth. No, they weren't separated at birth. There were two twins and they grew up with an alcoholic father. And one twin... Um, became a very successful lawyer, he made tons of money, and he had the ideal life that you would want, like the perfect life that he created for himself. And so I was like, well, how did you accomplish all this? And he's like, well, I learned from my father not to be that kind of person. So he, he saw his father be abusive, he saw his father be an alcoholic and this and that, and he learned he didn't want to be that. So he took the high road and became a successful lawyer. The other twin became identical to his father. He became an alcoholic and went down a very wrong path. And they asked him, how did you learn this? And he's like, well, I learned from my father. So the moral of the story is you can either be a survivor or you could be a victim. It all depends on your perception of it. And I learned that very, I was fairly young when I left, when I was with that, that person. And it's so true. It depends on how you perceive things. You can either overcome it or you can succumb to it. And that can be a very, very difficult choice.
Um, but I always try to remember that. And that's very important. And the other lesson that I actually learned recently, and again, this goes back probably, this is more religious. So if you're not, this isn't meant to be preachy. This isn't meant to be um, something to insult you. But um, when I talked to my priest about what I was going through with this family member that was just, um, this person was so abusive and nasty and negative to me that I actually went to talk to a priest about it because I didn't know what to do. And I was talking and we were talking and something he told me that I'll never forget and it's helped me in so many ways. He was like, your guilt doesn't come from a good place. It doesn't come from God. It just, if you feel guilty about something, don't let it consume you. And that has been true about many things. I was guilty when my grandfather passed away with this person being so mean to me. I was guilty about that. And I'm like, you're right. Guilt doesn't come from a good place. There's no reason to feel that way. And when I finally had my eyes open to that, that definitely helped me out. But um, it's hard. Like when the realization's finally there and then getting past it, very freeing in many, many ways. Um, I, I loved that. That's probably the best thing that I have learned all year. Um, hmm, yeah. What else can we talk about? We should probably get off this philosophical thing for a while, huh? <laughs> I don't know how many people are there like, okay, enough already, girl. Um, I'm really excited for a lot of new makeup that's coming out. I just ordered, um, a Supreme Frost from Jeffree Star, which I'm really excited for. And all, like, Too Faced and Tarte, everybody's coming out with, like, Christmas stuff. I'm like, but it's Christmas and I can't shop for me. I'm, like, really excited for, like, all these new things that are coming out. Um, I've really been living blush lately. I want to learn how to contour. That's one thing I'm not good at. Like, I can try it. And I can do, like, a little, like, mm, a little bit. But I really am not good at it. And I end up looking like a potato. And it just doesn't go. Or, like, I have mud, like, streaked up my face. I actually said, like, Michelle, you got, like, something, like, right, right there. You might want to, like, wipe it off. But, okay, that was me trying to contour. But thank you for letting me know that it looks like garbage. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Um, sorry. I'm just playing with my. This is the only reason I bought it. Just to play with it. And it's very, very satisfying. Um, I am going to be doing in the very near future, because I know a lot of you like it when I do toy reviews as well. I do have some new ones coming. I got something in the mail today that I'm so stoked about. I can't wait to show you guys. And I actually did order something. Um, hopefully it will be here within the week. So for those of you who enjoy trolls as much as I do, there's something very special coming super soon. And I can't wait to share that with you. Um, can't, yeah, I'm, I'm like so excited. It's the first one I've added to my collection in a very long time. Um, I want to add another one, but I it's on Listia, and I have somebody giving me a hard time on Listia right now, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I sold something, I sent it out to them, and I should have known better with this, to be honest with you. It's the first time I actually put a gift card on there, but I think what the, what's trying to go on is that they want the gift card but not pay for it, so I'm going through a dispute process right now, and so like half of my points on there are like on hold again this goes back to being good to people you got good people you got bad people and uh, i found another bad one lucky me right all right guys so we've been on here for like oh my goodness we've been on here for almost two hours so if you guys lasted this long um definitely thumbs this up and thank you for watching i'm gonna get going i'm gonna try to put the rest of this mess away and then the purses that are gonna be going on ebay i'm not sure i'm gonna listen today or not I guess so. Um, but I'm definitely going to be um, putting some of these up within the week. I want to try to put some up there tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that or not. Um, but it's Star, Star, Dragon Princess Star is where um, my brother and mom normally take care of that more than I do. Um, I'll take the pictures and stuff like that and they end up doing the rest of it. So um, if you're interested in purchasing anything, um, the person will be on there soon. Shoes should be on there. I want to say before Halloween. We're going to aim for that. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to get going. 
Oh, thank you so much. And thank you so much for talking with me on here. I really love interacting with you guys. I do have a bunch of comments that I got to respond to later. I'll do that later tonight. But anyway, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. And thanks for the recommendation for this video. Um, I really enjoy it. You know my love for my purses. But take care, guys. I will see you later. Bye-bye, Scotty. See you soon. Bye.